Hi and welcome to this Markup RXP video where we will be looking at the reasons behind why you don't just turn the grid off. So here we have a chart that's been automatically loaded by Markup RXP but if we zoom in we can see that the some of the chart lines here haven't really found the underlying grid very well. What I'm seeing on the forum is there's a few people that are recommending that in this situation what you should do is you should come in and turn off the grid and turn off the center line. Now the reason why we don't want to just turn off the grid is because markup RXP uses this grid, this red grid that fits over your chart, to determine what to mark up. So if you look at the cells that are actually marked up, if we just zoom in so you can see this, when we mark up here, so if I just choose uh, that cell, you can see that it's not lining up with the underlying grid, it's lining up with the chart that Markup RXP puts over that grid. And if that red grid, in this instance, doesn't line up with your chart, your markup will not line up. So if we come into here and we simply turn off show grid, you can see that when I'm clicking, I want to click on the end, but it's not quite lining up. Or over here, the, the cells aren't lining up properly. They're lining up with the actual grid um, that Markup RXP creates. So in this instance, what we would want to do is to go to manually adjust the grid to get it to line up. So if we just clear that out, we don't need to rotate the page because everything's okay in that respect. But on the grid here, I happen to know that if I come into the into the chart contrast and let's just knock this down a bit. Oh, we'll go a bit higher maybe, say, uh, something like that. You can now see that the chart lines up a lot better. If we put the contrast, take that contrast off. You can now see that the chart's starting to line up a lot nicer um, with uh, the underlying chart. So if we just say, yeah, we're done on that. And now because we're done, if we come into, if we just pan and zoom that around, so we can zoom that out a bit. If we come back into markup, you can now see there, that, that lines up and in this case now you can come in and turn the grid off because you don't want it to clutter the design and then you can start marking up so that's the reason why we don't just go ahead and turn the grid off if our chart isn't lining up we must make sure that the chart and the grid are in sync and they line up nicely and that's what a just grid is for and once that's done then you can turn your grid off and do your markup uh, I hope that helps. Um, thanks very much for watching.